Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for joining me today. In this video I want to cover off how to set up HP Nimble Encryption. So let's jump into it. I'm just going to click on a browser and enter the IP address of the array. And as you can see, I've logged into this array before, so it automatically logs me in. I'm going to head over to Administration, down to Security, and as you can see on the left here, you can see Encryption. So I'm just going to click on that. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but before I jump into it, just a couple of things that I want to mention, really. You need a passphrase in order to enable the encryption. It has to be between 8 and 64 characters. The other thing to note is Nimble to date don't include a KMS server or any key management service of any sort. So this password that you put in here, you need to keep secure using maybe third party KMS server or some, some other method. But just know if this password's lost, then the data that is encrypted on them volumes is potentially lost data and the only way out of that is to basically flatten the array and start again so just bear that in mind the other thing that Nimble does is everything that it does is in line there's no post processing so whether that's compression, deduplication or encryption it's all in line so just bear that in mind too and it's AES 256 bit so industry standard and each controller hosts a Intel chipset and it's off offloaded in hardware to the Intel chipset so again another thing to bear in mind so the actual overhead by enabling encryption is typically quite low so I'm just going to put a password in here Next we have here system start mode and we have two options and what, the, what this is really asking is when the array boots up do I allow the volumes to come online with or without a password and that's this pass, password here that, you, that you've used. So if, if I say available the array will just boot, come up and the volumes will be online, online and ready to use. If I select secure, what this means is any volumes that are encrypted will be offline until the password is entered. And if the, that password's lost or unknown, then volumes aren't coming on, on online. It's as simple as that. As I say, it, it's potentially data loss. So that's a that's a big gotcha if, if you're not careful there. Then we have the default settings and it's as, as you see here it's just a check in a box and what it's saying really is do you want to have what, what's the default setting for that for that newly created volume is it encryption on or encryption off and depending on the scope what you select here gives you the option to either disable it or force enable it or force unenable it so here I'll we'll force the default setting to be applied to the new volume in the group so if I enable encryption on newly created volumes and I force that when I create a new volume that tick in a box in order to enable or disable encryption will be greyed out unless I tick this radio button here and again then I can either enable it or disable it the choice is yours on a per volume basis so you can be granular in that you enable encryption on a volume by volume basis or you encrypt the whole array because it's done in software not hardware like self-encrypting drives where you obviously install the self-encryption drives and it encrypts the whole array so let's 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 go ahead 
and enable that. So we'll click on save. And as it says here, you get this warning message. Do not forget your passphrase. Store in a secure place. Lost passphrases cannot be retrieved and will result, result in permanent loss of data. And in order to go ahead with that, you have to accept it. So let's do that. And as it says here, encryption settings saved. So that's, that's it. We've enabled encryption and any volumes that we now create are going to adhere to this policy here. The other thing while we're on this page, I'll just show you if you want to change that passphrase, you can do. And it's as simple as going back to this, this web page, click on, on change passphrase and it brings this box up here. But you, again, know, you must know the actual current password. If you don't know that, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to change it either. So thanks, thanks a lot guys for watching and as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe.